An advertising campaign by one of the world's biggest oil companies, Shell, has been banned for misleading and lying to consumers. Are you surprised? Are you shocked? I'm not surprised at all. The only thing I'm surprised about is that a government actually did something about it. Didn't just ignore it, turn a blind eye. Isn't this an interesting change? And I've got to say, I've got to give some credit to the UK government for actually sticking their necks out here and doing something that most governments around the world aren't willing to do. Why? Because they are worried that the money train will stop. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name's Sam Evans. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. And I just want to say a big shout out to our Patreon supporters. Great to have you. And well, really good to have your support as well as YouTube members. Thank you so much. By the way, if you want to see some of our videos in advance, you can by being a YouTube member. I'll put a link in the description below. A marketing campaign by oil giant Shell has been banned by the UK's advertising watchdog for implying a big proportion of its business was in low carbon energy, even though fossil fuels make up the vast majority of everything it does. It's a fossil fuel company. Now, I want to point out, I know you're aware of this. Shell is obviously a fossil fuel company. Most people wouldn't be stupid enough to believe Shell. But here's the thing. What about LG Energy Solutions? LG Energy Solutions, right? One of the biggest battery companies in the world. Surely they're, I mean, they're a good company. Yeah, that's what they tell you. They changed their name not long ago from LG Chem to LG Energy Solutions. So when they changed from LG Chem, did they suddenly become just a good, clean company? No, they did not. In fact, the vast majority of their business is chemicals, petrochemicals and chemicals. So when you're buying a car, whether that's particularly from Volkswagen who use LG Chem batteries or Hyundai, keep in mind, where is the battery coming from? What does that company do? Now, you're probably thinking, well, what's the alternative? Good point. CATL and BYD. Sure, they're Chinese. Are they owned by the Chinese government? No, they're not. Are they two companies that do anything other than make basically electric cars, batteries, solar panels, those sorts of things? No, that's pretty much their only business. So even though, yes, it's true, uh, you're buying from a technically a Chinese company, at least they don't specialize in petrochemicals. That's LG Energy Solutions. Even though they've tried to convince people that that's not who they are, the truth is, it is. A television commercial, a YouTube video, and a poster campaign in Bristol, England, variously described providing large numbers of British homes with 100% renewable energy including electric vehicle charging points and driving the energy transition. Shell is definitely driving the energy transition. Of course, that's what they say. In its written ruling, the Advertising Standards Authority found consumers would interpret the marketing materials as making a broader claim about Shell as a whole providing clean energy. Obviously, that would be lying. Although Shell does have a clean energy business, the company estimates its operations released almost 1.4 billion tons of heat trapping carbon dioxide in 2021. In a statement, Shell spokesperson Tara LeMay said the company strongly disagrees with the ASA's decision, which could slow the UK's drive toward renewable energy. So apparently Shell believes that by having its misleading advertising campaign banned, it will slow the world's transition towards renewable energy. You know what will slow it? Uh, what will slow it is lying to the public, telling them everything's okay. Yeah, Shell's a clean energy company now. They don't do oil anymore. That was the past. That's all false. Campaign group Ad Free Cities has filed a complaint to the ASA about the commercials, arguing they left out significant information about Shell's overall environmental impact, which is very, very negative. 1.4 billion tons is, that's lots of tons. That's in a single year. It also argued the claim that 78,000 homes in the southwest of England and 1.4 million homes across the UK use 100% clean energy from Shell was uh, misleading. In other words, it was a lie because it was a lie. The ASM's ruling said the campaign gave the impression that low carbon energy products comprise a significant proportion of the energy products Shell invested in and sold in the UK in 2022 or we're likely to do so in the near future. Now, we can't say exactly what Shell will do in the future, um, but I mean, realistically, 
for them to transform their business from say selling burgers to selling salads, well, that would be a pretty big change, wouldn't it? It also found Shell had proven its claims to provide 100% renewable power to many British homes and that part of the complaint was not upheld. The watchdog ordered Shell not to run the campaign again in its current form. Ad Free Cities campaigner Veronica Wignall, who led the complaint, said the ruling makes the end of the line for fossil fuel greenwashing in the UK, but added that the ruling doesn't go far enough. She called for robust legislation to stop fossil fuel advertising. To be fair, I've seen lots of this kind of advertising in Australia. Government does nothing about it. Uh, many countries, this is very, very common to see this kind of stuff. But Shell, of course, argued that people are already well aware that Shell produces the oil and gas they depend on today. LeMay cited a survey of 1,700 British adults that found 83% associated the company with gas stations. The thing is though, Shell was obviously trying to get them to disassociate the company with gas stations. That's the whole purpose of the advertising. So basically they're saying, we're trying to change the perception of our company um, and that should be fair, even though the company itself hasn't changed. It doesn't make sense. What many people don't know is we're also investing heavily in low and zero carbon energy, she said. That is what our adverts set out to show. And that is why we're concerned by this short-sighted decision. Shell previously faced claims of greenwashing in promotional materials in numerous countries. In 2021, the Dutch advertising watchdog told the company to stop running a campaign saying its fuel was carbon neutral, a claim based on its offset program. Shell sells carbon neutral gasoline now, guys. No, they don't. Fortunately, the Dutch government also banned that garbage from Shell. Personally, I think this kind of advertising from Shell is idiocy. It's not gonna help them. People are not gonna go, yeah, yeah, The average person is surely not stupid enough to believe that Shell is no longer a massive multinational oil company. And they'll probably only ever be that until they are disrupted by other companies providing better alternatives for the future of the planet. Shell, this is a pretty dumb idea if you ask me. I just think, why remind people of what you do? That's pretty much what they're doing. Thanks for watching, but let me know what your thoughts are on this in the comments. Bye-bye.